No. Look at it this way. See the whole vast world as infinite states. All states. If they're all states and you are an immortal being, you're not a state, you are immortal. You enter a state and the state becomes alive. Therefore, you are not to blame if you enter a state unwittingly, and it's a horrible state. Men not knowing that you are in a state, they condemn you. But you have to express the contents of that state. <laughs> if you enter the state of poverty, you have to experience poverty. If you remain in it, you must go and drink that to the very last drop. The dregs of that cup. If you go into any state and remain in that state, you're going to drink it to the very last drop. But you can get out of a state. You don't have to remain in it if you know it's a state. If you don't know it's a state, you identify yourself with the state and think that you're it. Man has identified himself with this little body. And he thinks he is it. So the day comes, he has to discard it because he's worn it out. As he discards it, all of his friends are crying. <coughs> to think he died. He can't die. He is an immortal being who wore a garment of flesh. Flesh and blood. That same being who goes into states. Remaining in a state. And the state has to be expressed by him who resurrected the state. For I am the resurrection and the life of that state. 